Good evening everybody and welcome back to my channel. This evening I'm going to teach you to make another soup. Quite an unusual one this time. This time I'm going to teach you how to make a curry soup. A mince curry soup. So let's get right into it. So I have about three tablespoons of oil in my pot and to that I'm going to add a teaspoon of jeera, a teaspoon of barishap and a teaspoon of coriander seeds. I've got three bay leaves, I have four cardamom pods, I have a stick cinnamon, I have three cloves and one star and a seed and I'm going to put that into the oil. Okay, so it's starting to bubble, so I'll start smelling it soon. Today is going to be an interesting day because I'm making the soup with what I have in my cupboard. So I don't have any garlic and ginger, so I'm not going to use any, and I don't have any curry leaves either, so I would have used those. So those are on the recipe, but I'm not using them today. So I'm adding a large chopped onion and two chilies with the seeds removed. I'm making this curry for someone who does not like hot food at all. So I've adjusted the chili and I've also adjusted the masalas for that. And I'm just going to leave that in the pot to brown for about five minutes. You can see the onions have browned nicely. Now I'm going to add my masalas. So what I have here is, this is a biryani masala and that is a fish masala. You can see I've used a tablespoon and a half of biryani masala and one tablespoon of fish masala, heat tablespoons, because as I said, I want a mild curry. The biryani masala is not hot at all and that's just slightly hot. And I'm just going to roast my masalas a little bit. If I had a tomato, I would have added it now, but I don't have one, so today we're just making do. We're making curry soup with what is left. And to that, I'm going to add a 500 gram packet of red split lentils and then some water. Boiling water. Ooh, I must turn down my pot a bit. So that was about a litre and a bit of water. To that I'm going to add one beef cube and I'm going to leave this to simmer on the stove for about an hour. During that hour I will check that there is water so I'll check every 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure that it doesn't cook dry but I'm going to let it cook for an hour and then we'll continue. It's been cooking for an hour, I'm going to put the pot off because it has a habit of making a mess and let's have a look. So in the last hour I added between 3 and 4 litres of water in total, so another 2 to 3 litres of water um, and it kept on threatening to burn so I kept on turning it down. So it was cooking on very low heat for an hour and that is ready. So I'm putting my stove back on. I just put it off in case it messed when I opened it up. Now I'm going to season it. So I'm going to start with some sugar. Oh no, stove off again, that's too fast. I'm going to start with some sugar. One, I'm going to go with three teaspoons of sugar this time. Then I'm going to put in about, that's about a teaspoon and a half of salt as much pepper as you'd like. Pepper is again very personal. We like it quite peppery. And then some aromat. And I'm just going to boil it for a minute or two um, so that I can taste it to see if it has been seasoned properly. So I'm going to add some more salt, that wasn't enough. I'm going to go with another teaspoon. I'm going to add some more sugar. I'm not happy with the amount of sugar that's in there. So that's teaspoon four. And I've added another teaspoon of salt. So it's been seasoned properly. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the mince. Now the mince goes in raw. And what you want to do is you want to break off pieces of mince, like little pieces like that, so that when you eat, you get a little piece of mince in your soup and you just drop it in there. So what I'll do is I'm going to leave it on the stove for another 10 to 15 minutes and then it will be cooked. All I will have to do then is add the coriander leaves just before we serve. 
So the soup is finished and we're about to eat it. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some fresh coriander. Coriander is a very personal thing. You add as much or as little as you like. Or if you don't like coriander, you don't have to add it at all. And once you've stirred in your coriander, your soup is ready. It doesn't have to cook with the coriander. The coriander just gets added before you serve. So if you look at my two bowls, you'll see that one of them has chili in and one hasn't. Now, as promised, I made a mild soup, but I don't like a mild soup, so I want mine hot. So instead of burning everyone's palates, I've decided to just burn my own. So I've chopped a fresh red chili into my bowl, and I'm going to add my soup to that. And then the milder option will get no extra chili. And tonight we are having the soup with the same bread I taught you how to make two weeks ago. I made another steamed bread and that will be our dinner. So thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you enjoyed my other videos, please subscribe to my channel and then remember to hit the notifications button so that if there's anything new on the channel, you will be notified. Have a good evening. We are about to have supper. I hope you are about to have something good to eat too. Have a good evening and I'll see you next week.